Everyone's been waiting for Sennheiser to have internal recording. Now you got it. Udit Yorosh, IBC 2023 from DIYphotography.net. We're here with Lee, business developer for Sennheiser. And Lee, I know everybody's been wanting to have internal recording from Sennheiser. And now you have it. Tell me a little bit more about this box. Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, this is the EWD SKP. Uh, it's a plug-on transmitter. So as you can see, we've got it plugged onto our MKH 8060 here. So this unit um, has two microphone inputs an XLR input on the top, and then also a mini jack input on the bottom. So that allows you to use it as a bell pack with the Lavelier mic, as well as a plug-on transmitter. Can you use them simultaneously or will it only go one channel? It's, it's one channel at a time. So you either use that input or that input, but it does give you the flexibility of using this as a bell pack, as well as a plug-on. And in terms of control, what kind of, what kind of control do we have over this unit? So with this unit, um, as you can see, there's no display. Uh, the reason for that is that it's controlled via the EWDP uh, receiver and it, there's a connection via Bluetooth so you set the system up using the receiver and transfer the settings over with the Bluetooth connection. This makes a lot of sense for me because usually the person who want to manage the sound is either the person on the camera or the audio engineer and not the person who's actually wearing the, the pack. Exactly, yes. So. It means that with the Bluetooth long range, you can you can connect up to you know even 20 meters. So um, in most situations where you're using these kind of uh, microphone links, you can you can do the you can change the settings if you forget to change the bass roll off or anything like that. You can you can do that from the from the receiver. Press the sync. Get the person with this to press the sync, and the the data is transferred over. Easy as that. And what, what, can you start and stop recording or does it auto record? Like what kind of so, yeah, control so, do you have on so this? The, the, the unit does have a built-in recorder. So you, uh, an SD card recorder on the system, but that is a, a, is a manual process. So you do need to do that from the, from the actual transmitter itself. Okay, and what, are, what other buttons do you have here? So it's, it's a fairly simple system. You've got the on-off button, you've got your phantom power, so you can, you can power your condenser microphones, the sync button, uh, you've got a mute button there, which um, you can actually uh, disable. And the it's menu. a physical lever, it's not a button. Yeah, this is amazing. Absolutely, yeah, it is an actual, actual lever. And um, you, can, you can defeat that from the receiver. So if you've got someone that um, likes to fiddle with buttons, <laughs> then you can, you can lock that one out. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it really. Very simple, um, four buttons and a, and a switch. And you've mentioned internal recording, so is that an SD card, micro SD, what do you have in there? Yeah, so it's a micro SD card. Uh, it will record 32-bit WAV files, so really high quality. Um, and it's perfect because if you should happen to lose your radio mic signal for any reason, you've got a backup on the actual transmitter itself. You've mentioned that it records 32-bit float, but does it actually get enough data to fill in um, that, that size of information? Uh, yeah, so this, the system has a 134 dB dynamic range, which means that, yeah, you get a lot of data, but also it means that it's very hard to, to do a bad recording with it. You, you, it's very hard to clip, um, it's very hard to distort, so it um, makes it a lot easier for people to use. So for our audience who's not familiar, 32-bit float and 134 uh, uh, dB range basically means you never clip, you're never too low, means that whatever you're picking up, you can later use in post. Uh, I won't say you never clip, but it's really hard. <laughs> People manage somehow, I don't know how. But, uh, um, and then you were mentioning um, range. So how long was this unit go for? What's the range? So it does depend on the environment you're in, obviously. Um, we quote 30 to 50 meters. It's, it's the same kind of distances that you were getting from the, the 112 G4 systems that were predecessors to this. Um, so yeah, you, you should not have any problems with. Uh, and, and is that line of sight or just inside any area? Uh, you can. Uh, it's line of sight or any area. You know, obviously, as soon as you get walls or people in the way, the the range goes down. Um, that's why we don't give a specific range because there's so many different environments, so many different factors to that kind of thing. You know, but uh, it's pretty solid and um, and it does put up with a lot of challenges. And you've mentioned that this can uh, be used with a, with a lab. 
but like the form factor is kind of weird. Do you have anything that can you, you where you can put it on a belt? Yes, yeah, there is a um, there is a, a holder for this, um, as with the previous SKPs for the for the G4 series. So you can you can put it into the the, the small kind of leatherette case. Um, it has a clip on it, and then you can just stick it on there. So phantom power, internal recording. You get a belt clip for a lab. This is amazing. Um, what's the price and availability on this? Uh, so price is to be confirmed. Uh, we're going to be shipping at the end of October and it'll be available from your usual Sennheiser dealers. One more question. I saw this splitter cable. I think it's amazing. What can you tell me about it? Okay, so um, the configuration we have here, we've got two EWDP receivers um, connected via the magnetic um, mountings. And what we're doing here, we have a, a splitter cable, which is taking the mic out from the two units into um, a stereo a jack input to put into your camera. So you get a ch channel on the left, channel on the right. Uh, perfect for use with the SKP and a handheld or a belt pack. Give you two channels. Perfect, so this kind of completes the system. Absolutely. And what's next in the EDWQ line? So uh, with the EWDP, that's the range as we see it now. Uh, we've also got coming up uh, the EWDX in the Dante version, uh, which is Great for studios, broadcast. Uh, that's over IP. That's over IP. So audio over IP. Um, and that's coming very soon as well. Lee, thank you so much. It looks like Sennheiser has an amazing year planned ahead. Yeah, we're very excited. I'm Uri Tiroche with DIYphotography.net. We're here at IBC 2023. Stick around. We're going to keep walking the floor.